question number three in calculating the temperature of a rising air mass. In this scenario, we have an added element of a base camp. So again, let's start with by let's start by drawing our mountain. Now you're going to notice that my mountain in this scenario is a little bit different and there's a reason for that. That's because we're starting at base camp and if you'll notice base camp is located at 60 meters above sea level. So instead of being at sea level which was 0 meters we're now at 60 meters. So write that down uh, and take note of it. We'll come back to that in a minute. And the temperature here is 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, our point of condensation is at 3,000 meters. And the height of Mount Helena is 5542. Okay. So now let's try and calculate what the temperature will be at the top of Mount Helena. So the first thing we need to do is just like before is we're going to calculate the distance from our starting point to our point of condensation. So in this scenario our starting point is actually 60 meters above sea level. So we're going to take the 3000 meters which is our point of condensation here and we're going to subtract from it uh, 60 meters, which is our base camp level, our starting point. And that's going to give us an answer of 2940. So 2,940 meters. We're going to take that answer and just like before, we're going to divide by 100 and times by 1 degrees Celsius because we haven't reached the point of condensation so we're still operating in our dry air and our answer here is going to be 29.40 if you want you can always knock off the zero in that scenario degrees Celsius and of course we will box it because we need to come back to that later on. Now we're going to determine what the, t what the temperature is at this point of condensation. We've determined the drop from our starting point to our uh, point of condensation, but what is the temperature at this point? So we're going to take our starting temperature of 15 degrees Celsius and subtract from it 29.40. So 15 minus 29.40 gives me an answer of negative 14.4. 4 degrees Celsius. So that's our temperature uh, at the point of condensation. So therefore the temperature at point of condensation is negative 14.4 degrees Celsius. Now, just like before, we're going to continue on. We need to determine the total drop in temperature from the point of condensation to the top of our mountain. And so how we do that is we're going to calculate the difference between the point of condensation and the top of the mountain. So 5542 minus our 3000, uh, our height at point of condensation, which gives us an answer of 2542. meters. We're going to take that 2542, we're going to divide by 100 and this time we're going to do what? Times it by 6 degrees Celsius because again the temperature drops at a rate of 0 0.6 degrees Celsius for every 100 meters traveled. And our answer, so 2542 divided by 100 times by 0 0.6 gives us an answer of 15.252. Now you'll recall in my last video I mentioned that uh, if you have um, going to the thousandth decimal point, so in this scenario you see that it goes to uh, three decimal places, that you're just around to two decimal places. So in this case the answer is going to be 15.25. Be mindful, if that second two that you see there was uh, actually a number that's above five, so let's say it was uh, two, 0.257, you would have to round that five up to uh, a six and then that will make it the correct answer. Otherwise you will have the incorrect answer. So be mindful of that. If it's above five, you need to round up your second decimal place. So our answer in this case is 15.25. Two five degrees Celsius and of course we're going to box this because we want to come back to it. 
And what we're going to do now is we need to figure out that temperature uh, at the point of condens uh, sorry, the temperature at the top of the mountain. So we're going to need our two boxed numbers here. So we're going to start with our starting uh, temperature, which is 15 degrees Celsius. We're going to subtract from it the sum of 29.40 and 15.25 degrees Celsius, which is our, I actually don't even need the degrees Celsius in this scenario, okay. which is these two boxed answers that we have here. So let's calculate that. So 29.40 plus 15.25 gives us an answer of 44.65. And so we're going to do 15 minus 44.65, which gives us an answer of negative 29.65. 29.65 degrees Celsius. And we write our statement, therefore the temperature at the top of the mountain is negative 29.65 degrees Celsius. And you've just calculated using your base camp uh, the temperature of a rising air mass. Good luck!